Good morning. Hey, Deb, how are you? I'm doing good, thanks. Coffee is so hot right now. Many people consider coffee a staple, and there are many ways to enjoy your favorite coffee than ever before. Cold brewed, poured over, iced, French press. Joining us now is the domestic geek, Sarah Lynn Cushon, who will demonstrate the different ways to make coffee at home, including iced and cold brew. Sarah, what are some of the popular methods people use to make their coffee, and what's your favorite? You know what, Deb? There are so many delicious ways to make coffee right now. I find it's such a huge trend, and there's a method for everyone. The coffee I'm loving right now is the Folgers Coffee House Blend. It's a medium dark brew, and I love that because it brings that coffee house flavor to you at home, and you can brew it really inexpensively in, from the comfort of your own home, in your pajamas, if you will. <laughs> Today, I'm going to show you a couple different methods. My personal favorite, and it's just because it's been my go-to forever, is the automatic drip. I love this method because I can actually set it before I go to bed, and my coffee is already waiting for me first thing in the morning. Sarah, what's your favorite coffee moment? My favorite coffee moment would have to be First thing in the morning, let's say 6 a.m., I'm a really early riser, and the reason I love to get up so early is because the rest of the world hasn't quite gotten up yet. I find it's my most productive time, but also the most relaxing. I like to sit on my couch with my Folgers Coffee House blend and my laptop and get a whole lot of work done before the day sort of sweeps me away. I'll let you in on a secret. I'm usually up at 6 a.m. with Folgers, too. Oh, amazing. <laughs> amazing. It's I'm my husband's favorite. Comment. <laughs> what are some tips and tricks on how to prepare cold brewed coffee? Cold brew is a huge trend right now. It's actually one of my favorite types of coffee. And there's sort of two different ways to brew an iced coffee. So there's the traditional iced coffee, which is brewed hot and then chilled. And then there's cold brew, which is actually brewed with cold water. So today I'm using a cold brewer, but if you don't have one of these at home, it's totally fine. You can go ahead and use a mason jar. That works just as well. And what you're doing is you're taking one cup of your Folgers Coffee House blend, and then you are going to add five cups of cold filtered water. Using filtered water really helps to get a nice consistent flavor in your coffee each and every time. And then once you poured all your water, you pop this into the refrigerator for 12 to 24 hours. So the concept behind cold brew is really simple. The idea is that you're going to use time instead of heat to extract all of that coffee goodness out of the grounds. And what you end up with is a nice smooth coffee with a nice smoky flavor. It also has very low acidity, so anyone who is sensitive to the acidity in traditional coffee really generally enjoys cold, uh, cold brew. What does the way you brew your coffee say about you? You know what? There is a coffee for everyone. I honestly believe this. A coffee for every personality type. You can drink your coffee with almond milk, with coconut milk. You could be a cream and sugar person, a caramel mocha choca frappa who's it person. Um, and the best part is that this coffee will stand up to all of those preparations. I know for me, I drink my coffee black, and I always think that that is because I am a pretty serious AA type. So I always think that I'm too busy to add cream and sugar. But the great news is there is a coffee preparation for everyone, and we've actually put them all together in the Coffee House at Home Guide. So I've worked with Folgers to create an amazing guide so that you can make coffee each and every way, and you're getting the perfect cup every time. That's available at FolgersCoffee.com. This is going to be silly, but where do people go for more information? Well, you can definitely go to FolgersCoffee.com, or you can hit the TheDomesticGeek.com. You can also find the info there. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to talk with me today. Have a great day. It's been a pleasure. Thanks, Deb.